Alhaji Amin Ubelu Masari, who led the delegation to conduct the APC governorship primaries in Edo State, said that the committee will strictly abide by the set rules and guidelines of the party as regards party primaries. He said the delegation would meet with aspirants to share ideas on a history exercise with a view to electing the party's flag bearer in a process that will stand the test of time. While appealing to the state governor for security, Alaji Masari said after the exercise, aggrieved aspirants should follow due process to register their grievances. Uh, like I said, before in Abuja, we will abide strictly by the guidelines as given by the party. And uh, we also assure all aspirants that we will be just unfair to all. Uh, we are not angels, but uh, sadly, on the pop, uh, like I was telling the appeal committee, that by the time we finish our work, the appeal committee will have work. Welcoming the delegation, Governor Adam Sushumul expressed confidence that the Castina State Governor has the capabilities of carrying out the assignment, judging from his antecedents as former Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives. While assuring of adequate security, having met with security agencies, Governor Shumul stressed the need for the party to adopt the process used for Kogi State governorship primaries. For me, therefore, like I told the aspirant when I met with them three days ago, said this should be our finest hour in a new state. But this is the only time we are going to have election where our own party is at the federal level. We are coming as an underdog without a councillor in any of the councils, without any local government in our party, no state, no federal. Meanwhile, Governor Shomole has inaugurated the Governing Council of Tayo Apata University of Education, Ekiadolo, chaired by former Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Thomas Okosun. The Governor at the inauguration ceremony urged the Council to create measures to reposition the institution, such as provide a realistic tuition fees, relocate the current students, funding, renovation of infrastructure and other facilities at the Education University. The Governing Council has six members. Christy McCauley reporting.